I cannot accept our, our economy or basically our society moving towards an entitlement mentality, that you're entitled, okay? I'm more of a rewarding because I can help those who really need help if those who can help themselves do so. That was multimillionaire oil baron Joe Manchin talking about how he really doesn't want to cultivate the sense of entitlement among the American people. Imagine that a multimillionaire talking about everyone else being entitled. Unbelievable. Now, thankfully, Bernie Sanders called him out and he responded directly to that entitlement comment. And everything that Bernie Sanders said here was perfect. He also uh, talked about Kirsten Cinema as well as it relates to her refusal to support the Build Back Better Act. Take a look. Now, Senator Manchin, as I understand it, talked about today about not wanting to see our country become an entitlement society. Well, I am not exactly sure what he means by that. Does that mean that we end the $300 direct payments for working class parents, which have cut childhood poverty in this country as a result of the American Rescue Plan in half? Is protecting working families and cutting childhood poverty an entitlement? Does Senator Manchin think we should once again have one of the highest levels of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. At a time when millions of seniors in Vermont, in West Virginia, all across this country, have teeth in their mouths that are rotting, when they can't afford hearing aids in order to communicate with their grandchildren, and when they can't afford a pair of glasses in order to read a newspaper, does Senator Manchin really believe that seniors are not entitled to digest their food and that they're not entitled to hear and see properly. Is that really too much to ask in the richest country on earth that elderly people have teeth in their mouth and can see and can hear? We got 48 senators who support three and a half trillion. We got two who do not. Now, to be very honest with you, as I think all of you know, I believe that our current health care system is totally dysfunctional. And I strongly, strongly believe in a Medicare for all single payer program. I could, in five minutes, go to Chuck Schumer, Senate Majority Leader, and say, Chuck, I can't support this bill unless you have a Medicare for all provision in there. But I'm not going to do that because I know, I don't know how many, maybe half the members of the caucus, a third of the members of the caucus support that it would be irresponsible. So my concern with Mr. Manchin is not so much what his views are, I disagree with him, but it is that it is wrong. It is really not playing fair that one or two people think that they should be able to stop what 48 members of the Democratic caucus want, what the American people want, what the President of the United States wants. That would be my position. So Senator Manchin has a right to fight for his point of view. He has not only a right to be heard, he has a right to get some compromises. He's a member of the Senate. But two people do not have the right to sabotage what 48 want and what the President of the United States want. That, to me, is wrong. So you've called out uh, Senator Manchin. We do also like to see specificity from Senator Sinema as to what she was Absolutely. Uh, Senator, as I understand it, you know, I'm not privy to everything here. Uh, in some cases, you guys know more than I do. But I don't think that's, you know, I think Senator uh, Sinema's position has been that she doesn't, quote, unquote, negotiate publicly. And I don't know what that means. It, 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 we don't know where she's coming from. What I have heard, and I don't know if this is accurate. This is a problem. I have heard that she is opposed to having uh, Medicare negotiate prescription drug prices with the pharmaceutical industry and lowering prescription drug prices. I have heard that she is opposed uh, to asking the wealthy and large corporations to pay their fair share of taxes. That is what I have heard. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think to answer your question, yeah, I would love to see her. In the same sense as, as Senator Manchin, Tell us what you want and don't want. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. So this is really important because right now both Manchin and Cinema are feeling the heat. And you can tell that they're feeling the heat. And rather than backing off, Bernie Sanders is increasing the temperature even more. And everything Bernie Sanders said there is perfect. He really went through the list. What do you think people should be denied? Are they not entitled to have hearing, dental, and vision covered under Medicare? Are they not entitled to paid family leave? 
What is it that you feel they're not entitled to, Joe Manchin? Now, Joe Manchin, he's not going to respond in a good faith manner because he is a hack and he's not a partisan hack. He's a hack for his corporate donors. But this is the response that Joe Manchin put out, and it is predictably insufferable. He said, respectfully, Senator Sanders and I share very different policy and political beliefs. As he and I have discussed, Senator Sanders believes America should be moving towards an entitlement society, while I believe we should have a compassionate and rewarding society except it's actually the opposite bernie sanders is the one who wants us to live in a compassionate and rewarding society he wants us to join the rest of the developed world and actually give citizens health care and paid time off you're the one who's denying them that you're the one who supports entitlement society but not entitlement for the peasants entitlement for your donors and, and yourself as a multimillionaire. I mean, imagine having a yacht or a houseboat or whatever the fuck he has and calling other people entitled. Imagine sitting on your ass and making $500,000 a year from the fossil fuel industry and calling other people entitled. Imagine that. Insufferable. Now, in terms of whether or not Manchin is going to budge, I think it's obvious that he's already starting to break, right? He's still stubborn. He's still resisting. But ultimately, Joe Manchin is someone who I think is gettable when it comes to getting him to support the Build Back Better Act. There's going to be some push and pull. There's going to be even more compromise, even though that shouldn't be the case because Bernie Sanders had already negotiated down from $10 trillion to $6 trillion to now $3.5 trillion and probably lower. But Manchin is gettable at the end of the day. Cinema, on the other hand, is a completely different story. I genuinely don't know if there's anything that they can do to win her over. She's not a good faith negotiator. I don't think she's looking out for her own uh, prospects for re-election. I don't think she cares about anything. And she still, after getting heckled all week, she was pressured to respond and just state anything about her beliefs on this bill. And as you're going to see, a reporter asked her a question, nothing. An activist confronted her. Again, nothing. Take a look. <laughs> say literally anything about this publicly to the people who voted for you, the people who didn't vote for you. Everyone else seems to be engaging in a public good faith conversation. I appreciate this, but she's in. I appreciate that. Can you also have our phone? I do, I do. It's a great email account. Senator, do you have any time that you should make about this? Garrett, you haven't reached out to our office. Senator, do the people who've been protesting you have any effect on the way you're looking at this issue? All right, thank you, Senator. Thanks, Garrett. Thank you. And it went up. And they went up. To, to bring them back. So we call that the Mayo Shuttle. I love it. I love it. Hi. Thank you. Hi, hey, there. Hi, Congresswoman. Um, are you going to, who are you going to leave out um, for, the, for the Build Back Better Biden agenda? Can you talk with us, please, today? Congresswoman? Senator. Senator Sinema, would you please tell um, the majority of Americans who support Build Back Better why you won't vote for it? Who are you going to leave behind? Seniors who need health care, folks who need housing, the climate crisis, who are you going to leave behind, Senator? So to me, it seems like Sinema, more so than Manchin, is going to be the one who might tank all of this she doesn't negotiate in public i mean why did you even run for public office to begin with you're a public servant you're literally a public servant that's what you get paid to do serve the public and you refuse to talk to people you talk to your donors though you do special retreats with them at swanky hotels but when it comes to interacting with the peasants and even reporters you just you ignore them. It's insufferable. It's infuriating. And I don't know what's going to be the outcome. But ultimately, if all of this fails, if it all goes up in flames, I think ultimately cinema is probably going to be the one to think. But I hope that she proves me wrong. I don't know if she will. Either way, she shouldn't just 
be able to do this and get away with it. Her constituents should absolutely make their voices known. They should be protesting her everywhere that uh, she goes. They should be sending her voice messages and politely asking her to do what they elected her to do. And that's represent the people, not her fucking donors. So that's all I'll say about this. I really like that Bernie Sanders is finally sticking it to these two corporate Democrats. And we need to see more of this. I wish Joe Biden would join in as well, because as president, you'd be surprised how much influence influence he has how much of a difference it would make if he actually got involved but what bernie sanders did here it really is great it shows that he has a set of priorities that he's going to fight for and he's not going to back down and that's that's really good to see